Alright everybody, back here with some more NBA, and we're going to be the starter this time for the Timberwolves. <laughs> Not too exciting, but at least I'm a starter now, right? So, let's get moving. Yeah, I played a couple games in between, because I know this is pretty long, at what it's like, what, 80-some games in a season? definitely a, a lot so I played a little bit and I ran into mr. Uh, what's his face and I beat him and he said I'm the best of course and I earned the rightful spot of being the starter on the Timberwolves after that and the Timberwolves has been on a winning streak because of me <clears throat> All right, let's lead them to another victory. All right. And ready to get going, we see the Timberwolves. The Suns come into a Western Conference contest. Yeah, in this come on, game. Phoenix. Come on, old Phoenix. Let's see what you got. Next to me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr in the booth. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. Guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from money in this one? He can be a frustrating player to coach because as talented as he is, he often loses his cool and it can take his focus away from the game. And the of course I is, do. The opponents know that, Steve, so they're out there looking to get under his skin and cause one of his meltdowns. The Timberwolves hoping to give a strong showing here for their home crowd. They've been playing very well lately. It's uh, been four wins for them in their last five games. When I look at Minnesota, They've really struggled much the same way they did a year ago. It just hasn't gotten much better for them. Clark, for me, they didn't show a whole lot of fight when the tide turned against them. And that's what uh. the NBA is all about. It's about getting off the mat because adversity is going to hit every single team. It's always how yeah. you respond. It's important. Minnesota shooting all right. the free throws of the game. Well, you look at the numbers 79%. And right in. in the season. That's, uh, that's very impressive. You know, the Timberwolves have taken on an increasingly international character. Players like J.J. Barea, Rubio, Nikola Pekovic, and Alexei Sved. All important contributors. Oh, yeah. Nice. Rubio against Bloodsoe. Rubio, the pass to money. Give me that. And that's two points on the way. You got to put bodies on the glass right there. How dare you. Not getting it done on the board. Yeah, they've got to do a much better job of going harder than that to the glass. Come on, Bledsoe. Bledsoe, averaging 12 points a game. They kick it out to Green. And a miss there on the triple. And Clark, a lot of European players used to this cold weather. Maybe that's why the Timberwolves keep go after them. <laughs> well, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. But they've had pretty good luck with the international players. Some good talent that they've put together. Minnesota with the ball. After the miss three from Green. Here's Money. Buries right the in. Money's got his Look at this. Freaking nice lead. Near the hoop. So for Phoenix, their last game of loss to Chicago. Well, Clark, they really shot terribly from downtown, and that one eventually paid the price for it. They sure did. I mean, sometimes you can make up before Got to cover points. him better. Strong inside game, but theirs wasn't quite strong enough. Oh. So, Jerk faces. Brown outside. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's no secret around the league, guys, that the Suns either have one of the best Ooh. medical staffs in the game or they built they gotta be starting beating us. By the fountain of youth. More evidence of that yep. game when Jermaine O'Neal found new tread on his well-worn tires. Well, Clark, as you said, a lot of the players that left the Suns last season, such as Steve Nash and Grant Hill, had trouble keeping their health up. And Steve, I don't know, you've been in that organization. Whatever they are doing that are keeping those players healthy and in top shape has been working. They are admirable in the way they right are. in. Well, it's a tremendous training staff. They've just always done a very good job of keeping their guys healthy by getting them in the training room every day for work, by combining the, the strength program with the training schedule. Uh, but a lot of confidence in that staff from the players, and I think it really shows. 
No good from Blood yes. Service. Yeah, he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Martin. And the layup is good. They're off and running. Get out of my way, boy. Four of their first five. Look at Minnesota. They took the win in their last game against the 76ers. And they did just what you have to do as a road team. Guys, they never allowed any momentum to build up against them. It seemed like every time they took a punch, they had a counter. You'll like this, Steve. Reverse spurtability, we call that. <laughs> they had any defensive lapses, they immediately made up for it with some instant offense. It's stolen by Green. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Green with the ball. Here's Bledsoe. Rebound love. His touch has right. disappeared on him this morning. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Rubio, the best of money. That's it. And in. Yeah. And that's 10 points for money. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Bledsoe kicks to Brown. From deep green. And he gets it to go. Green's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Suns. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. After taking a year to play elsewhere, it seems Gerald Green finally found his role on an NBA team in the 2011-12 season, but he just couldn't find the traction expected with the Indiana Pacers last year. Here's Bledsoe after the made shot from Money. Green dishes the land. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Love. Kicks it to Rubio. Finished off the break. Rubio's got his first points of the night. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. And for Gerald Green, a three-year, $9 million contract with the Pacers to start last season. Yeah, they were hoping for more out of him. Uh, Kevin, he, he just never really settled into a role with the Pacers, and that was disappointing because Indiana's bench, I thought, really showed some weaknesses during that great playoff run they had. And the Suns making a change here. Channing Fries checked in for Len. Morris comes in for Morris. DJ Tucker, he's checked in for Gerald Green, and Lee subbed in for Brown. Get that out of my face, boy. a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing quite nicely right now. Playing with a lot of confidence, just some self-assurance. I, I like what we're seeing. Now here's Williams, averaging nine points for contest. Here's Pekovic and the layup. Nice. The nice yeah, layup. See why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks inside. Yeah, I mean, they're just getting pounded in there. The defense not off much resistance they've got to force the ball back out to the perimeter here's Tucker all right right play some more of a good defense oh yeah oh my guys oh that was such a nice stuff too there's 21 seconds left in the first quarter here's Trogic from eight feet away ah Here's Schved. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. He kicks it to Buttinger. On the wing, Williams. And here's Schved from the arc. And that is nice. Alexi. Schved. Here's Trogic. No one. Oh. And that does it for the first quarter. All right. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And, guys, what's your take so far in the Timberwolves? And the difference to this point has been defense. Uh, this club has really gotten after it, and that's what's gotten them this lead. Well, there's nothing that's gone up that hasn't been contested so far. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Nice. So on the floor for Minnesota. Money Beautiful shot. Lexi Shved is out there with Mo Williams. Then there's Budding, and it's Pekovic in at the center position. Here's Dragic after the made shot from Shved. Uh, that drops. Intelligent passing there. All right. Make that hoop well. possible. Is that right? Williams passes to Pekovic over to the wing. Fires from 14. And again, nice. Minnesota converting. And 
we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the 76ers was superb. He finished with 27 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also came away with a season high for rebounds. Oh! A performance like this was yeah, just pack a bitch. He needed to snap their losing streak. All right. All right, Doris, Oops. thank you. It really was a stunning performance, Clark. He was at his absolute best in this game. Yeah, and the only thing about having a game like that, Kevin, is that it's almost impossible to duplicate it here tonight. Well, nobody's expecting that, Clark, and they don't need him to do that. He's even half as good as he was that night. It should be enough. And Alexei Sved out of Russia. Last there season, we go. the agent signed by Some the points out of this. Not really a bad find either. The shot's still coming along, but he's shown. All right, bench. Well, not for long. <laughs> Destroying the Suns. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's money. He picked up 27 points in the last win against Philadelphia. And his work on the glass, certainly noteworthy. I and mean, he contributed in a number of ways. Six on the shot clock. Here's Berea. Second chance shot. Yeah! Money. Money's got 14 points. Of well, plays like that. Hustle, plays on the glass, and then staying with it, being active, really cause some problems. Yeah. Total stuffage of the Suns. It's a dark day for the Suns. Yeah. Timberwolves gonna swallow you all up like a pile of meat, you guys are. Yeah. Suck it. And everything is in place and oh yeah on the freaking awesome picture two blocks sprint. and as we welcome you back we begin our second half so far not a tightly contested game guys but you know anything can happen what a game we're seeing from money yeah he tore it up on the offensive glass in the first couple of quarters love the effort you're getting out of him Incredibly persistent, which is what it takes to be a successful offense. Right in. I should know. I used to eat a lot of glass in my day. <laughs> and Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. We've got Len. Marky Boris is out there with Green. Then it's Brown. And it's Bledsoe in at point guard. Oh, oh, oh they, they screwed the that one up. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Brewer. Martin, the best of money. Rubio outside. Six to shoot. Here's money. That's good. And right in. <laughs> That's now 18 points for money. Pumps. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. Morris dishes the blood cell. The feed now to Morris. From deep, and he gets Ooh, it to go. Nice. No problem on the three from Green. Green's got 11 points. Man, he's got a tremendous ability to knock it down from deep. I mean, that's a big time triple. Well, it gets harder and harder the, the deeper you go out there. So, I mean, he's got great touch from that kind of range. That's impressive. And that really went past him, but as long as he knocks these foul shots down, it's all right. Those teams in Florida in 2006 and 7. A long, wiry 6'9 perimeter defender who's also improved offensively. And he didn't know it. Going back to Come on, man. The thin man, 6'9, about 190 pounds. Yeah, Kevin, he can struggle a little bit against stronger players, but he's really kind of found his niche on the perimeter. Uh, kind of a, a guy who can guard multiple Jesus. players and then he's a blur in transition offense to defense that's kind of what he does and this is a guy playing with a reconstructed knee as well rubio against bloodso and rubio kicks to brewer passes it to martin here's the three Good. Nice. He's got 10 points. Freaking awesome he shot. All three of their shots since coming out of the locker room at the break. It's oh. Tipped. Nice, Kevin Love. A 
touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's money defended by Morris. Here's money. Come on, man. I always do that. And here now on the 2K leaderboard, the best distributors in the league. The point guards with the most assists per game this season. Third is Ricky Rubio. And obviously assists are the name of the game at the point guard position. That's not lost on these guys. It's all about team basketball with them. You know, Steve, the court vision all of these players possess is outstanding. That, to me, is the most important attribute an effective point guard can have, and they all have it in spades. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Williams is checked. Ooh, he's so mad. Catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Rick Adelman gave to his team during that break. He talked about their post game, saying we've got this defense stretched out, and if we can make solid entry passes, oh, he got we'll stuff. The points will come. He also wants to see a patient offense, work for the shot, move the ball around, and as he told them, quote, if you don't see a good shot, find someone who does. Probably a good right. time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. And as always, uh -huh. thank you. Phoenix shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. Alex Lynn, 7 1 center out of Ukraine by way of University of Maryland. I'll tell you, he, he underwent surgery to repair stress fractures in both ankles, and that has to concern the Suns. But uh, very, very skilled big man. And I know How dare you, Len? High hopes for him. Channing Fries checked in for Len. Side Williams. There's a screen. No one near him. That one nice. Williams has got his first two points of the night. On going back, Alex Len considered by a number of scouts to have the most upside in this draft. Can you believe, yes. Kevin, that he was a former gymnast in his youth? Wow. I mean, tremendous agility. Still very young, and you know what, big guys, you always have to give them a little more time. To see what they can become. Keep an eye on him. He could be very Money. Good. I like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. Right. Good and Bloodsoe gets the assist. Bloodsoe's got four assists in the game. Crafty pass work there, getting it down low for the easy deuce. Williams kicks to Budding. Inside. And it goes to and the in. Again. Ties it there for Money. Money's got eight points in the quarter. Suns have gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Bloodsoe outside. He dishes it to Green. Bloodsoe passes to Morris. Shot clock at six. Hit his foot. Oh, hey, <laughs> hit my foot. <laughs> yeah. Marcus oh, play some soccer, boy. Morris, and it's Malcolm Lee in for Green. Here's Goodwin. Oh. And that one's good. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. Williams dishes to Buttinger. He feeds it to Bekovic. The eight footer. Morris with the rebound. The Suns have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. Goodwin gets a screen from Fry. Lee outside. All right. Teardrop shot. Oh yeah. And here's Berea, right now averaging five points a game. Ah. Uh, From outside. The dang sun it. Almost had an assist. Third, about fifty percent. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. There's the dish to Goodwin. To the inside. Stolen by Buddington. Yes. Slam. I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen throughout. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball. Oh my god. Turning into quick you points. jerk face. Not be able to continue if they hope Doesn't even pay to attention. This game. It's a deflating play. Oh. 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 And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one shot.
Next Sunday night, January 12th, Janet Love and the Minnesota Timberwolves go up against Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs. Live Make sure you're, this Hoops. is Action. the gain is all the way down. Yes, it is. Come on, Len. Dishes the blood cell. Pass to Morris. But Trey. No luck. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. It's tipped. It's stolen by Brown. Money in it. Power forward. JJ Berea. Uh. There with Alexi Shved. Then it's Johnson. And it's Muhammad in at the three spot. So that's the Timberwolves five. Fed the pass to money. There's the pass to Shved. God dang it. He's trying to get the other guys. Leading the fast break. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Oh, yeah. Here's what Phoenix has lined up on their schedule. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That puts them squarely in the middle of this five game road trip. Yeah, a lot of good stuff going on around the league today. And a lot of fans focused on that matchup for New York. Money. They built this lead through plays exactly like that. He's easily been their most consistent performer. Well, he's been splashing everything today. Brown gets a screen for Morris. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Eight points for Eric Bledsoe. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him more two points. To throw line here. And a moment now to check out who Minnesota has coming up. They'll be at home for the next game against the Bobcats. That'll be the latter half of this two game homestand. A lot of fans focused on that matchup for San Antonio. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Johnson. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Brown defended by Shved. No coverage that time. And that's now 10 points for Eric Bledsoe. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Money passes to Johnson. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. Johnson's got four this quarter. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. Yeah, and that's what's paved the way for them to build this big lead. No question. Count that one. That's their third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here in the last few possessions. Passes it to Money. With the shot, and it's good. Oh, yeah. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Finish in the post. That's one thing we know about. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Timberwolves. They've been the aggressors and they've been tougher in the paint all game. It's been a hot shooting night for them too. I mean, they've hit a lot of those mid-range jump shots. Well, they found the touch here in the second half from the field and Everything else we talk about, folks, rebounding, defense, all of that, this game is still about making shots. you got to put the ball in the basket. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. What? Ah, oh, man, I didn't want to pass to him. Guarded by Tucker. Doubled by Tucker. And Schved kicks to Johnson. Clock is at three. Feeds to Schved. Get out of my face, dude. We've got 128 left in the fourth. Money passes to Berea. Kicks to Shved. Down low. It falls into the And Money. back in. Money's got seven now in this quarter. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout dominating performance for the Timberwolves. And Clark, we got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High scoring game. Oh, wow. Well, basket after basket, they were in attack mode all game long. 
And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And at key points in this game, they stayed committed to their brand of basketball. That's why they'll be taking the front end of this three-game season series. I got an assist. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for money. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket just seems to be incredibly wide. Oh, man, I didn't get it. Jump you know, there. Come earlier, they might have been able to get back into it. Yeah, but as it is, too little, too late. And Schved kicks to Johnson. To the left side wing. Here's Money, defended by Morris. Pass to Johnson. And ah. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Finish off the break. Yeah, nice fast break from Dang. start to finish, guys. Especially oh, well. on the Who back cares? end. I mean, he polished it off perfectly. Maria with it. So it's Minnesota. There we go. Blow out. it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And now, Jordan presents our player of the game, Money. Money. Player of the game, son. My PS4 make a lot of noise. Lift this up a little bit. Player lounge next day. Hey, what's up? Got a minute. Yeah, sir. What's going on? You've been playing really well lately. I think Coach made the right move letting you start. It gives us the best chance of winning moving forward. Thanks. I'm just trying to do everything I can to show Coach and you guys that I deserve this spot. No doubt. I think me and you have a chance to take things to the next level. Malone had Stockton, Bird had McHale, and if we do this right, I think we can have that same kind of vibe. Yo, I cannot argue with that. If we can get anywhere close to the level of success those guys had, woo, that'd be amazing. Dude, you know what? I really hate being the sidekick because look at what I freaking did. Why can't Kevin Love be that sidekick, son? Yeah, for sure. Hey, I'm down to do whatever it takes. I'll do my best. Like I said, I'm just trying to win some games. <sighs> Yo, you know I'm down with that. All right, man. Later. <laughs> 